Good morning all and good morning David. Good morning. Today we have the pleasure to introduce David Jacobson, um, an artist that lives between Italy and UK and uh, with a lot of um, uh, work behind um, him and the, in its tradition he presented and he created uh, several uh, uh, different uh, uh, experimentations in uh, contemporary art. Today we are presenting an installation and a vertical work uh, uh, that he created. The first one is a very interesting story that David will, will uh, tell us and uh, the, uh, the second work it's uh, a composition with a very strong concept so David please you can introduce uh, your works and yourself oh, thank you very much well as you said I'm David Jacobson um, it was strange there's two things that strike me about this the one is we've got to wear masks and your exhibition is called the body and usually we recognize someone by the face and now we can't because we have COVID the other thing is this morning I received a message from my sister who I always think doesn't understand my work. But I got this message saying, that's your life on the wall. And in fact it is my life. So I'd like to explain why. These seven confections that you see here are all the sketchbooks or many of the sketchbooks and the diaries that I've kept over the years. I don't want them to be read in future. I don't want them to, be, them to be seen in future because I think that what happens is people in a different paradigm read and look at the drawings and they explain them in a contemporary fashion. And that's not the way that they were done initially. They were done under completely different circumstances. So for me, the thoughts, the words, the concepts are all there, except they are bound with string, they are glued together, there's <laughs> wax that holds them together, and so everything is still there, except you cannot get to the detail, you cannot explain it, but it explains itself, in my opinion. Yeah, first of all, it's a, a very strong installation, so th themselves became from a sketchbook to an artwork. Absolutely, exactly. Full yeah. of memories, full of concepts. So I think that if it could uh, have uh, a way, you know, yes, it's very, 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 very <laughs> heavy, heavy, heavy. It's yes. very heavy. Well, the I thing is, uh, one question about uh, your introduction: what's your, what's about your story you, that you would like someone in future will write about you? Because everything now is. Uh, well, closed. I, well, I don't know if I really want anyone to write about me because I think that the work <laughs> itself expresses what it is. Um, I think many people work in a way, and once again we go back to what the body is, and we have the mind-body always and what's going on, and I think particularly now with what's happened with coronavirus, for example, or with uh, what's happening in the world today in, in, uh, with the global warming and this kind of thing, we are discovering that we as individuals are not, and we as a population, are not as important as we thought we were. Um, we've been lucky that evolution has given us a brain and the brain can do the most incredible things. But at the end of the day it's not important who did them, it's what we do with them. It's how we use the ideas. So for me, if I want someone to write, I'm not interested that they write about David Jacobson, the person. I have no interest in that at all. But I do have an interest in the concept in this case, that you can have all of this information, but the information is hidden, like the mask side us. Okay, the information I understand. Is, it's there, it exists, it is real, and it's collected together, but it cannot be deconstructed because I would fear deconstruction because some things would be interpreted in ways that it was not intended and other things might, people might find out the truth about me <laughs> I don't know if I want that um, but that's really the idea it's to contain all of it as an object in one not to be something that can be interpreted individually or independently Really interesting. Thank what about uh, um, the second work we, we present today? The second work is, and this goes back to what I was saying about my sister saying this is my life. The second work really is part of what I, or all of what I consider important in my experience of life. The top 
piece is a little Bible that was printed in Luca. It's one inch by just under one inch. And it's a Catholic Bible. I'm actually born of Jewish descent, but I am an atheist. So it could be a Hebrew Bible, it could be Muslim, it could be anything. It's just a symbol of belief and of what I think is mythology. It's relevant that today, while we have all the religious wars we have, still have going on, we've got the Webb telescope up in space that's just about to send back information that goes back millions and hundreds of millions of years. So for me, the Bible is mythology. It's just mythology. Next, there are two aspects. Um, on a personal level, there is the fact that the Nazis, when they tried to eliminate the Jewish people, they had left of these people, after the camps, teeth. And these are all teeth. I must admit that some of them are false teeth, some of them are real teeth. But science has proved today that the last place that you can get evidence of DNA is from teeth. When bodies burn or get destroyed, DNA will still exist in the teeth. And DNA is, in my mind, one of the hopes of the future in order for us to, to know where and how we came from, how we developed. And brings and with it. us all our uh, history. Absolutely, which in fact links to this. Yes, exactly. Because you can find the DNA, that's my DNA <laughs> in there. And then of course there's time, which goes on continuously, irrelevant, irrespective of what is going on, time goes on. Whether we are here as a species or not, time will exist. It always does. It does because of the way in which the world has evolved since its first inception. So basically, yes, that is the story of my life. David, congratulations. I really you. love your work and um, uh, I believe in uh, what you say because I think on many layers and subjects the same about the, the mystery of uh, the creation yes that sometimes can become you know more attractive when it's uh, hidden yes you know absolutely, absolutely. because uh, if you give to the public everything from the starting and everything behind the, the scenes until uh, the end of the the work uh, yes. until is presented there is no, um, you, you, we, we cannot give to the visitors the, the time and even the imagination yes, to absolutely. enter inside the work and uh, get lost. Absolutely, and I think that's a very important point you make because, you know, one day you can think that you are doing it for this reason, but a few years later when you look back on what you did you realize actually that wasn't the reason it was something else completely we don't know our own minds as much as we would like to and i think that's what this gives it keeps it mystifies the things that that uh, are important to me i know what they are if i don't now when i look at them i couldn't tell you what was in that book or what was in that book it's a mystery to me as well. So it encapsulates that aspect of life as well. That we can remember certain things for various reasons, but other things we don't quite know why we remember them or why we've forgotten them. How does the brain work to stop you from remembering certain things or to help you to remember other things? And that then, once again, reverts back to this, where when we grow up we are taught that we are this religion or that faith or whatnot. And it's only because our parents tell us. <laughs> there may be a DNA that is a Jewish DNA, there may be a DNA, there is no Catholic DNA. You are given that from your parents, it's a mimetic thing. But our teeth will tell us who we are, where we come from. You can take somebody's tooth and say they are part Belgium and part this and part that and part... That holds the truth. And true to all of that is that it happens throughout Inside history time. and for as long as we are aware of the future. Maybe it will be another animal in a few years time. <laughs> Who knows? About the time I was thinking that, uh, David, your installation and your action to pack everything yes. with glue and clothes forever 
uh, it's related to time because usually when um, we open a sketchbook about an artist it's a chronological work because we are used to write yes. from the first page and go over and over yes when you pack everything uh, you destroy the time Absolutely. inside them so I don't know if these uh, uh, books uh, are from uh, the last 10 well, years. Actually, it will tell you on these tickets, these... these uh, you write. Tickets. It says from 1989 <laughs> to 1970, whatever. <laughs> so it tells you in that time space. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, David, for this conversation and for your time uh, to be here. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much and thank you for having me in your show. Thank you.